Let's go through some urine profiles that will tell us what exactly is happening with your body. And we're going to start off with this one. This is it's a person who is dehydrated because you can see this is deep amber. So anything above this should be considered, yeah, you need to do something about your body, especially the water intake. The, you, you might be dehydrated at, at the moment. If your urine is looking like this, then you need to take in some more water. Number two, this urine is not normal. This is someone who is overhydrated. Remember we said you're not supposed to take excess water because of what will happen with that in the body. You're going to drain most of your electrolytes and that's not something that you need to have. Now, this is now normal urine. This is what you're supposed to have on a normal day. You are well hydrated and you're not overhydrated. You're in between because like we said, dehydration is bad. Overhydration is equally as bad. So you should always aim at this because this is someone who is taking a good balance of water intake in the body. This urine is turbid, and like you can see, it looks cloudy, and you might find some debris inside. So it might look cloudy, or just some debris at the bottom, but it's always opaque. Now, it might be an indication of something serious, or nothing serious like we are going to see. Now, in men, this might happen due to having, or urinating, after sex, immediately after sex. So what will happen is the urine will sweep off the urethra and the remnants of the semen might be what you are seeing here. Now that's totally normal. We have instances where you have an infection in your bladder or in your ureter or maybe in the kidneys or in the urethra. So as the water that is inside the urine comes down, it sweeps off something we call parcels and it might be what is making your urine to look exactly like this. Also, you might be having proteins inside your urine. Now, the proteins might be an indication of having an issue with your kidneys because they're supposed to filter any protein that will remain in the blood and then anything else will just go into, you remember the nephron, protein molecules are big enough so they cannot be filtered through the glomerulus. If your urine looks exactly like this one and you've not had sex and you don't have an infection, it might be an indication that your glomerulus is not working as is required. So you might be having an inflammation there or maybe you are just having an issue with your general health of the kidneys. Still on turbid urine, in women, this might be an indication of the early morning urine. It might look exactly like this because of the debris of someone. Because women usually have epithelial cells, they might be more or less. And also after sex, it might also exactly look like this because you have epithelial cells here. Or maybe, yeah, you see the leftovers of uh, the sperm. So it might be, yeah, yeah, like this. But you remember sex is in the vagina, but then this urine is coming from the urethra. So it might sweep some of that. Or maybe whatever was in the vagina might drip into the container. So it might be normal. But for another thing, like for example, you've not had any of what we've mentioned here, everything like in men applies here. You might be having an infection, you might be having um, leaking of the proteins inside there, and this is quite common especially when you're pregnant. So you might find that you are leaking some proteins and uh, it's you should be checked. In case maybe you go and after your urinalysis they detect that you're having some proteins, it's high time you go and check your doctor. If your urine looks exactly like this one, it might be an indication of two serious problems. This is deep brown. It might be an indication of you having excess bilirubin in your blood. Now, remember, through the cycle of the red blood cells, at some point they get old enough and they die. So they're supposed to be broken down and whatever was contained in them recycled. Now, bilirubin is one of the byproducts after the breakdown. Liver takes part in that. Now, in case your liver is not doing the job correctly, you might end up accumulating a lot of this in your blood and it's going to leak into yeah, your kidney. So this might be also corroborated by how your skin looks like. It might be yellow. Your eyes might look yellow. The whites of your nails might also start looking yellow. So you might be having an issue with that. Also, you might be having hemolytic anemia. This is where the red blood cells are broken down at a higher rate compared to how the liver can be able to handle that when it comes to this recycling. Now, formation of the bile salts. Now, if you're breaking down a lot of the cells, you are going to have urine looking exactly like this because it's going to leak into the blood now being filtered out of the system into the urine and that's why you're going to have an elevation in the urine.